okay so in this lecture we are going to learn a new method called as method of undetermined coefficients okay so before i start with this method i will briefly tell you a small notion called as annihilator so let us write down annihilator what is the meaning of annihilator okay given a function f of x let's call the function f of x the annihilator let's call that annihilator phi of d is such that is such that when i operate this phi of d on that function i will get zero this is called the annihilator so by definition uh, probably nothing is clear so let me take simple examples and it is very easy to understand that so let's take simple function suppose i take a function suppose i take function is uh, f of x is equal to x square okay now simple question is that what derivative should i take of x square so that this is the derivative right this is a differential operator what derivative should i take of x square so that i will get this is a function which is x square so that i will get what so that i will get zero we all know that if i take the first derivative of x square i will get 2x if i take the second derivative of x square i will get 2 so if i take the third derivative of x square the third derivative of x square will be how much zero so this means who is the annihilator of x square so this means that d cube is annihilator of x square okay can you now make a guess that what is the annihilator of the function x raised to 4 and now it is very clear that if i take the fifth derivative of x raised to 4 i will get 0 so who is the annihilator of x raised to 4 so d raised to 5 is annihilator of the function x raised to 4 can we generalize this can we make a general conclusion of all this so if i take the function is x raised to k who is the annihilator of this function x raised to k obviously d raised to k plus 1 is the annihilator of x raised to k because why because if i take the k plus 1th derivative of x raised to k i will get it how much i will get it zero okay let me take function equal to e raised to 2x okay now which derivative should i take here of e raised to 2x so that i will get here zero what should i write here so that i will get a zero now if you see that if you just write derivatives you will get e raised to 2 the derivative of e raised to 2x is 2 e raised to 2x okay the second derivative will become 2 square into e raised to 2x and this will continue right so the kth derivative of e raised to 2x will be equal to 2 raised to k e raised to 2x and you will understand that this is never going to be zero right so so this means that here instead of writing the, the only derivative what i will do is i will pay attention at the very first step what is the first step saying the first step says that d e raised to 2x is equal to 2 into e raised to 2x therefore what will i do therefore d e raised to 2x minus 2 e raised to 2x is equal to 0 and therefore what therefore d minus 2 and i'm taking e raised to 2x from the right hand side out 
is equal to zero. This so this means that if I write here d minus two, then d minus two of e raised to two x will become equal to zero. So who is your annihilator now? So who is replaying the role of phi of d here? Phi of d is d minus two is annihilator of which function of the function fx equal to e raised to 2x as soon as you see this example you can now see that this 2 is playing not a very special role in this particular example right so what is the generalization that i want to make here if i take the function e raised to ax okay who will annihilate e raised to ax i know that d of e raised to ax is a e raised to ax and therefore d minus a of e raised to ax the same thing i'm as i've done above here seeing the same i did the same thing e raised to ax is equal to zero so this means that who is playing the role of the annihilator in this particular problem d minus a is your annihilator annihilator means what annihilator means something which kills the function right see if this annihilator applies on this function what happens the output becomes zero that is the meaning of annihilator in actual english right annihilation means which is going to kill so so this annihilator phi of d d minus a kills e raised to ax okay is annihilator of the function e raised to ax okay so i can now prepare a small chart for me so what will i write here i will say the function is here and i will write down the annihilator of that particular function so whenever i need it i can use this particular summary what is the first simplest function that we did we did that if you get x raised to k the annihilator of all people of the form x raised to k will become what are nothing but d raised to k plus one correct so these are the annihilators i mean to say that x square who is the annihilator of x square d cube okay so on so i am writing the general form here second is which uh, which function we have taken easiest function e raised to ax what is the annihilator of e raised to ax we just now saw that d minus a kills e raised to ax next i want to see is what will happen if i have sine ax which person will kill sine ax so the, the next example the sixth example okay i'm writing continue here the summary table i will come later back so I have function is equal to suppose I write the function sine three x. Who will annihilate annihilate sine three x? So if I say that, what should I apply to sine three x so that I will get zero? Now we all know what is the derivative of sine three x. What is the derivative of sine three x? It is three cos three x. What is the double derivative of sine three x? It is 3 to 3 which is 3 square with a minus sine 3x and this is giving me a hint that d square sine 3x plus 3 square sine 3x is equal to 0 and this means that d square plus 3 square into sine 3x is equal to 0 so this means that d square plus 3 square annihilates sine 3x right so the annihilator that i was searching here for is d squared plus 3 squared now can you make a general conclusion from out uh, thing from the year so in general what will you get d square plus d square plus a square annihilates the function sine ax correct so if you have sine 3x it is d squared plus 3 squared so in my table now i can write that sine ax annihilator is what d squared plus a square okay what about the function cos ax what about the function cos ax let me go to the seventh question so derivative of cos ax is equal to minus a 
sine ax and the double derivative of cos ax will be equal to minus a square sine ax will become cos ax and this is a good hint for b say by both, both the sides i've got cos so i can bring them together d square cos ax plus a square cos ax is equal to zero so this means that d square plus a square into cos ax is equal to zero so this means that d square plus a square also annihilates cos ax okay it not only annihilates sin x but it also annihilates cos ax so in the summary table if i go above i will write sin ax or cos ax both have the same type of annihilator that is d square plus a square let's take one a little bit complicated function suppose i have the complicated function is e raised to ax into sine bx okay what is the annihilator of e raised to ax into sine bx okay so that is our last example for annihilators so annihilator of e raised to ax sine bx okay now what should i write here which function should I write here of D means what phi D should I choose phi of D such that phi of D into e raised to ax sine bx will be equal to zero okay what should I write here okay now this is not a very easy task okay this is a slightly difficult task now if you remember if you remember if i have a complementary function suppose i have a complementary function uh, which is uh, which is having roots suppose the roots of the complementary function turn out to be uh, a plus ib okay they turn out to be what they turn out to be complex roots okay then uh, what is the complementary function the complementary function was e raised to ax into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx right which is nothing but e raised to ax c1 let me write a c1 here c1 e raised to ax cos bx plus c2 e raised to ax sin bx do you see this e raised to ax sin bx is what we are really looking for our question is about e raised to ax sin bx so when i find the annihilator of e raised to sine bx at the same time i will get the annihilator of cos bx so the same annihilator is also going to work for e raised to ax cos bx correct because of the view of three i'm, I'm understanding that e raised to ax and sine bx and cos bx will have the same annihilator okay now who is that any data now observe something in three what do you observe in three you observe that related to three if fd is d square plus a square okay what is the auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation is m square plus a square equal to zero therefore m is equal to plus minus a i complex roots and therefore what is the complementary function related to this it is c1 cos ax plus c2 sine ax and this is sine ax and cos ax are exactly sitting here right so this means that when i want to find the annihilator of this particular thing the annihilator came up to be f b right so for so auxiliary equation first i will get and then the f d person i will get so here if i want the roots to be complex roots let me go down okay if i want the roots to be complex roots what should be the auxiliary equation what auxiliary equation will will give you these complex roots we know that if roots are a plus minus ib okay roots the first root is a plus ib and 
a minus i b correct these are the two roots of this particular auxiliary equation right what is which quadratic equation will i get i will get the quadratic equation is m square minus sum of the roots right if you know some if you know the two roots what is the uh, equation the middle term the term which is coefficient of m is nothing but minus the sum of roots and what is the last term the last term is product of root it is multiplication of roots right product of roots is equal to zero so this uh, this means that fm is equal to how much m square minus addition of the roots what is the addition of a plus ib and a minus ib the addition is 2a so this is 2a okay m and what is the multiplication of a plus ib and a minus ib it is equal to a square plus b square right z into z bar so it is equal to a square plus b square so this is the auxiliary equation fm so what is the related f of d corresponding to this the f of d corresponding to this is d square minus 2a d plus a square plus b square so this f of d will work as my annihilator okay see i went the reverse way okay i didn't find the annihilator what i did is i started looking at e raised to ax sin bx e raised to ax sin bx appears with e raised to ax cos bx but when does this complementary function appear this complementary function appears if the roots are complex if the roots are complex a plus ib a minus ib what must be the auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation must be of this form therefore this must be fm and therefore i get fd this is the way that i i tried to find out my annihilator so f of d or let me call it phi of d who is your annihilator now phi of d equal to d square minus 2a d plus a square plus b square annihilates which two people it will not only annihilate e raised to ax sin bx but it will also annihilate e raised to ax cos bx okay these annihilators we are going to use when we solve problems so let me erase this and let me complete the chart what is it now the table is complete with the annihilator of e raised to ax it is d square minus 2a d plus a square plus b square okay so these this list of annihilators is going to now be very useful for us okay solve y double dash minus y dash minus 2y equal to 4x square by using method of undetermined coefficients okay so let us see this question how to solve this now before uh, we go for we know we have to find a complementary function and particular function integral for this let us find the complementary function so auxiliary equation is fm equal to 0 so that is auxiliary equation so which is m square minus m m square minus m minus 2 equal to 0 so this is m minus 2 uh, into m plus 1 and therefore m is equal to 2 and minus uh, 1 okay so what is the complementary function the complementary function is c1 e raised to 2x plus c2 e raised to minus x okay so i have got the complementary function right now i will write the differential equation in uh, in capital d format okay what is capital d format so uh, given d square minus uh, d minus 2y is equal to how much 4x square this is the given differential equation okay now i will look at right hand side what is the right hand side right hand side is 4x square okay this 4 is constant so 4 is not going to give me trouble who is the important here x square okay so what is the annihilator of x square okay annihilator of uh, x square 
is how much uh, is d cube right annihilator of x raised to k is d raised to k plus 1 so i will multiply this annihilator to both the sides so therefore uh, i hope you you understand this so I means what is d cube of 4x square what is the third derivative of 4x square this 4 will come outside okay and it is third derivative of x square and then that uh, will become what zero that is why this 4 is not a big deal okay so i will multiply the annihilator on both the sides so d cube into d square minus d minus 2y is equal to d cube of 4x square what is the d what is the right hand side d cube is annihilator of this so this will become zero and therefore what will i get i will get d cube into d square minus d minus 2y is equal to 0. So I have got the annihilator. I have got this step. And therefore, what is the auxiliary equation for this new, new differential equation? Now, this is a new differential equation. What is the auxiliary equation? It is m cube into m square minus m minus 2 is equal to 0. Right? So this is nothing but m is equal to 0, m is equal to 0, m is equal to 0 three times. And this we have already solved above m square minus m minus 2. And what is the what are the roots? It is m is equal to 2n minus 1. m is 2n minus 1. Right. So I have got five roots now. Okay, out of which three roots are repeated. And these two roots are distinct. So what will be the solution um, complementary function here now? The complementary function will be c1. Now, already c1 I have used for e raised to 2x, c2 I have used for e raised to minus x. So, I will use the same c1 and c2. Okay, so c1 e raised to 2x plus c2 e raised to minus x. Okay, because it was earlier used. Plus, for these three things, I have to use c3, c4, and c5. So, this is c3 e raised to 0x it is repeated i hope you remember the repeated case plus c4 x e raised to 0x plus c5 x square e raised to 0x right and now you observe that this is not yc but this is your general solution y why because this is nothing but yc and this remaining part will be your y Okay, where yp is equal to c3 e raised to 0x is 1 plus c4x plus c5x square. This is your yp. And what is our target? What is our target? The target is to determine to determine what you know all of you that when you write the general solution okay arbitrary sorry sorry when you write the general solution constants are allowed only in the complementary function constants are not allowed in the particular integral do you see but this particular integral has three constants so what is my target now my target is to determine these constants which constants, constants C3, C4 and C5, okay? And that is why this method is called method of undetermined coefficients, okay? So these are the coefficients of x, x square and coefficient of 1. These coefficients, these constants, we want to determine, okay? So how will I determine this C3, C4, C5? Once I find C3, C4, C5, I will substitute them in this step star. Okay. And then I will get Y is equal to complementary function plus the particular integral. Okay. So let us move the for the step of finding C3, C4 and C5. Okay. Now look at YP. And uh, once you know what is YP, now now it is the time to go to the original differential equation what was the original 
differential equation. We forgot what is the original differential equation. The original differential equation was y double dash minus y dash minus 2y is equal to 4x square. Okay, so let us write it down. Given y double dash minus y dash minus 2y equal to 4x square is the differential equation which we are actually we want to solve okay now we all know what is yp yp is c3 plus c4x uh, plus plus c5 x square okay What is yp dash? What is the derivative of yp? c4 plus 2c5. What is yp double dash? It becomes only c5x. Okay. And what is yp double dash? Which will become just 2c5. Okay, substitute in the original differential equation one let me call it one substitute in the original differential equation which i'm calling one which is yp double dash minus yp dash i'm putting the particular integral in this equation one minus 2yp equal to 4x square what is yp double dash 2c5 okay minus yp dash is c4 plus 2c5 minus 2 times yp what is yp yp is c3 plus c4x plus c5 x square equal to how much 4x square okay let us collect constants let us collect the constants x people and x square people on the left hand side so constants i will get 2c5 okay please check with me okay 2c5 minus uh, c4 minus 2c3 they have no x in them what are the terms which are having x with them the terms which are having x with them is uh, here i forgot c5 x okay i'm sorry so what are the terms with the uh, term with x it is minus 2 c5 this is the term and i think this is also one term right minus 2 uh, c4 please check huh? If I'm going wrong, please let me know. What are the terms with x square? I see there is only one term with x square, which is this, which is minus 2c5. And this all is equal to how much? 4x square. So when I compare the coefficients, compare coefficients, I will get 2c5 minus c4 minus 2 c3 is 0 because there is no constant term yeah yeah pe kya hai? 0x plus 0 so this will be compared with 0 what is the coefficient of x now the coefficient of x is minus 2 c5 minus 2 c4 is also equal to how much 0 what are the coefficients of x square the coefficients of x square is minus 2 c5 is equal to how much 4 because the coefficients of x square is equal to 4. So this means that from this particular three equations, I will be able to find the value of c3, c4 and c5, which is clear that c5 is minus 2. Okay, c5 will come up to be what? Minus 2, right? And uh, what will be c4? If I use the same equation, c4 will be 2 and c3 will come up to be minus 3 
Okay, solving these equations, not even simultaneously. You just have to substitute it here. You will get C4. Substitute it here. You will get C3. So I have got all the three constants, and therefore my from the star step, the solution star becomes what is it? Y is equal to C1 e raised to what was it? C1 e raised to 2x. Plus C two e raised to minus x, C three, C four, C five. Okay. C one e raised to two x plus C two e raised to minus x plus C three plus C four x plus C five x square. Who is C three minus three plus what is C four two x and what is C five? C five is Minus two to x square. So this is your general solution. Okay. I hope you realize that solving the problem by method of undetermined coefficients, you must have come. If you compare this method with variation of parameters and the method of reduction of order, you will understand that in this method we have not. Used anywhere integration. Okay, so this is a complete bypass to the integration methods, the methods which involve integration in between them. Okay, so this is one of the easiest method. Okay, let us take the next question. Solve y double dash minus y dash minus two y equal to e raised to 3x by method of undetermined coefficients so solution first let us write the auxiliary equation which is m square minus m minus 2 equal to 0 so this means that m is equal to so the second factor is this m minus 2 M my m plus one equal to zero, so m is two and m is minus one, and this means that y c will be taken as c one e raised to minus x plus c two e raised to two x. So this is my y c. Now I will look at the right hand side. What is the right hand side? The right side is uh, e raised to three x. What is the annihilator of E raised to 3x. Annihilator of e raised to ax is d minus a. So annihilator of e raised to 3x is d minus 3. So annihilator of e raised to 3x is d minus 3. This annihilator I will multiply both sides to equation one, which is the original differential. Equation. The original differential equation is this. <clears throat> so I will write the original differential equation is d square minus d minus 2y equal to e raised to 3x. This is in the form of, and I will multiply d minus 3 to both the sides. Now we know that d minus 3 is annihilator of e raised to 3x, so this is going to be how much? This is going to be zero, and I will get d minus 3 into d square minus d minus 2y is equal to zero. And now I will again write the auxiliary equation related to this, which will be m square minus m minus 2 into m minus 3 is equal to zero. And this will give me what the roots will be m plus m minus two into m plus one into m minus three. This is already the these are already the roots of the above auxiliary equation, which will give you roots m equal to two minus one and three. So what will be the general solution in that case? So these are the old roots, and this is the new root. 
So we know that we have already used 2 and minus 1 and what was the yc part we will write it as it is c1 e raised to minus x plus c2 e raised to 2x which will come because of this c1 e raised to minus x plus c2 e raised to 2x plus the third root will have c3 e raised to 3x. Here this I will call as y the general solution where this part represents yc which is a complementary function and this part represents yp. So we got yp hence yp is equal to what c3 e raised to 3x and now my target is that my target is uh, it is to uh, find what my target is to find this c3 who is this c3 so let us write the differential equation here one what was the original differential equation the original differential equation was y double dash minus y dash minus 2y equal to e raised to 3x this was the original differential equation and put here write yp so write yp instead of y write yp instead of y so what will you get you will get yp double dash minus y dash minus 2 yp is equal to e raised to 3x so now this is yp and therefore what will be my yp dash what is the derivative yp dash will be 3 c3 e raised to 3x and what is yp double dash yp double dash will be 9 c3 e raised to 3x isko substitute karenge so what is this so here i will have 9 c3 e raised to 3x minus y dash y dash is 3 c3 e raised to 3x minus 2 times yp how much is yp yp is c3 e raised to 3x is equal to e raised to 3x now what is left with uh, me and uh, therefore i'm left with what so 9 minus 3 6 minus 2 is 4 so this is actually 4 c3 e raised to 3x is equal to e raised to 3x and this is 1 into e raised to 3x and this will cancel out and this will mean that 4 c3 is equal to 1 and therefore c3 will be equal to 1 by 4 and therefore your yp which was c3 e raised to 3x becomes yp equal to 1 by 4 e raised to 3x and therefore your general solution y which is equal to yc plus yp will become c1 e raised to minus x plus c2 e raised to 2x plus yp this is cyc and what is yp 1 by 4 e raised to 3x so this is the general solution of the differential equation by method of undetermined coefficients y double dash minus y dash minus 2y equal to sine 2x by method of undetermined coefficients so again i have the same uh, auxiliary equation m square minus m minus 2 is equal to 0 and this is m is equal to 2n minus 1 and therefore my yc will be equal to c1 e raised to minus x plus c2 e raised to 2x we have the same above thing so this is a y, yc now let us look at the right hand side who is the right hand side the right hand side is sine 2x so we know that annihilator of sine ax is d square plus a square so what is the annihilator of sine 2x so annihilator of sine 2x will be d square plus 4 so i will look at the original equation which is equation 1 therefore by equation 1 let me write it d square minus d minus 2 y equal to sine 2x this is the original differential equation one in terms of capital d okay i will multiply both sides by what multiply both sides by the annihilator by the annihilator 
So it is d square plus 4 into d square minus d minus 2 is y is equal to d square plus 4 sine 2x. But this is the annihilator, so it is going to kill sine 2x and it is going to become 0. And I'm going to get d square plus 4 into d square minus d minus 2 y is equal to 0. And therefore, the auxiliary equation, the new auxiliary equation becomes m square minus m minus 2 into m square plus 4 is equal to 0. And this two things already have roots m equal to 2 and m equal to minus 1. These are the old roots. Okay. And what are the new roots? The new roots are m equal to plus and minus 2i, complex roots. So these are the new roots and these are the old roots and what is the general solution y equal to then c1 e raised to minus c1 e raised to minus 1x correct plus c2 e raised to 2x plus this is complex roots c3 cos 2x plus c4 sine 2x where this two people are your yc this forms your yc and therefore this must be your yp so i got my yp now and so my, my yp is c3 cos 2x plus c4 sine 2x and my target is to find what my target is to find c3 and c4 these are the undetermined coefficients now i will look at the original differential equation by equation one i have y double dash minus y dash minus 2y equal to e uh, it's equal to sorry sine 2 x right so it is sine 2 x and i will replace y by yp in this particular equation because yp also yp satisfies this differential equation right so replace yp so we will get replace y by yp so this means that yp double dash minus yp dash minus 2 yp is equal to sine 2x now we have to find what is yp dash and yp double dash and then we will substitute in this equation now if this is yp okay now what will be yp dash let me write it here what is yp dash yp dash will be minus 2c3 sine 2x plus 2c4 cos 2x correct and what is the double derivative what is the, again i will find a derivative this will become minus 4c3 cos 2x and it's got derivative the will become 4 c4 with a minus sign minus 4 c4 sine 2x and these yp yp dash and yp double dash i will take and substitute it in this step so yp double dash instead of yp double dash what will i write now minus 4 sorry minus 4 c3 cos 2x minus 4 c4 sine 2x this is yp dash minus what is yp double dash minus yp dash yp dash is minus 2 c3 sine 2x plus 2 c4 cos 2x this is yp dash minus 2 times yp who is yp yp is c3 cos 2x plus c4 sine 2x this is yp is equal to so we have substituted all the three quantities and it's equal to what is equal to sine 2x now i will collect the terms now you see on the left hand side the terms are only containing people which are sine 2x and cos 2x so i will collect terms of sine 2x and cos 2x so what will i get if i try to collect from the above expression the terms of sine 2x sine 2x and plus the terms of cos 2x and is equal to what sine 2x on the right hand side we have only 
sin 2x now who are the terms which are coming with sin person okay so let us look here so this is minus 4 c4 sin 2x okay i will write in rough and then i will again erase okay minus 4 c4 is there then again sign will be coming with here so which is plus 2 plus 2 c3 is also coming and uh, again sign is coming here also which is minus 2 c4 so eventually this will become how much this will become minus 6 uh, c4 plus 2 c3 okay so i'm directly writing it that now okay minus 6 c4 plus 2 c3 now let us look at the coefficients which are of uh, cos who are who is with cos which is having minus 4 c3 is here then here you have uh, minus 2 there's a minus sign outside okay so minus 2 c4 and cos is what c3 with the minus 2 and minus 2 c3 just check if it is correct so it is minus 2 c4 and minus 6 c3 okay minus 2 c4 minus 6 c3 right and on the right hand side you have 1 times sine plus nothing times cos plus 0 times cos 2x so if i compare the compare both sides what i will get i will get minus 6 c4 plus 2 c3 which is with sine will be 1 so this person is actually 1 and the person with cos the person with cos is minus 2 c4 plus 6 c3 is equal to what is equal to 0 so i'm comparing the coefficients of sine 2x and cos 2x okay and now we can solve these linear equations Uh, solve this linear uh, two linear uh, equations by uh, simultaneously so solving simultaneously okay i will get now i'm directly writing the answer c4 is equal to minus 3 by 20 and c3 is equal to 1 by 20 this you can do in your free time okay and therefore my y p becomes c3 cos 2x correct c3 cos 2x plus c4 sin 2x which will become 1 by 20 cos 2x plus minus 3 by 20 sin 2x so this will become your y p and therefore your general solution y which is yc plus yp is obtained because you have determined the co undetermined coefficient you have now found them out so this ends this solution here y dash minus 5y is equal to 3e raised to x minus 2x plus 1 by method of undetermined coefficients okay so let us see this now so what is the, the differential equation the differential equation is d d minus 5y equal to 3e raised to x minus 2x plus 1 this equation original differential equation i will call y what is the auxiliary equation for this auxiliary equation is m minus 5 equal to 0 and therefore m will be equal to 5 and therefore my complementary function will be c1 e raised to 5x this is only my complementary function so now let us look at the right hand side what is the right hand side the right hand side is containing e raised to x and it is also contain e raised to say say 3 e raised to x no issue of that 3 and the other part is minus 2x plus 1 okay so this is minus 2x plus 1 so now think of what is the annihilator of 3 e raised to x so what is the annihilator of e raised 3 is constant so that is not a problem we know that annihilator of uh, e raised to ax is uh, what is d minus a okay and what is the annihilator of what is the annihilator of x okay annihilator of x and 1 we know that if i take the 
uh, first derivative of this if i take the first derivative of this what will happen the first derivative will become minus 2 but if i take the second derivative of uh, this particular person then this will become what zero so annihilator of the uh, of the second part is annihilator of minus 2x plus 1 is how much is d square because that d square will make both of them zero and who is going to make 3 into e raised to x zero so the annihilator of 3 e raised to x is what d minus 1 because it is e raised to 1x right so d minus 1 is going to kill this person and d square is going to kill this person so which person will kill both of them because we have all three people here e raised to 3x 2x and 1 all of them so who will kill all of them therefore the annihilator of 3e raised to x minus 2x plus 1 is what it is d minus 1 multiplied by d square so this person will kill the kill everything on the right hand side all right so i hope you understand why i am taking the multiplication of the annihilators why just see what is d square into d square into d minus 1 okay d square into d minus 1 of this right hand side 3 e raised to x minus 2x plus 1 this is going to be 101 percent equal to 0 what is the reason behind that because i'm taking d square and uh, then I'm applying what um, d square will make uh, this particular person z d minus one is going to make this zero. Okay, so I will write this is d minus one into uh, three e raised to x. Okay, minus I'm multiplying this to this, and then I'm multiplying the d minus one to this plus d square into d minus 1 into minus 2x plus 1 okay and i know that this is certainly going to be 0 so this component is gone away what about this component plus so this is 0 and what about this component here i will interchange the operators i will make d minus 1 here and i will put d square here and then i will write minus 2x plus 1 but i know that this person is going to be 0 so it will be d minus 1 into the annihilated thing is 0 so eventually everything becomes zero so multiplication of the annihilators will annihilate this entire quantity okay so let's move ahead let's not waste time here and now i will multiply this annihilator multiply to equation one both sides so i will get d minus one into d square into original differential equation kya tha? original differential equation was d minus 5 d minus 5 y equal to d minus 1 into d square into the right hand side what is the right hand side it was 3 e raised to x minus 2 x plus 1 but I have told you that this is annihilator, so this is going to be 0, and I'm going to get d minus 1 into d square into d minus 5y is equal to 0. And therefore, what is the new auxiliary equation that I'm going to get? I'm going to get m minus 1 into m square into m minus 5 is equal to 0, and therefore the roots will become what? The roots are now old roots. Who are the old roots? The old roots are x5. What are the new roots? Because of m minus 1, I'm going to get 1 as a root. And because of m square, I'm going to get 0, comma 0 as two new roots. So these are the new roots. And if I have 5, 1, 0, 0 as your roots, what does your complementary function become? But we are going to write here the general solution. y is equal to first part is yc who is your yc this is old root so this is c1 e raised to 5x which was your original yc where is it gone here c1 e raised to 5x and the new roots will give the unknown coefficients which will give you c2 e raised to x because of this and what about 0 and 0? They are repeated roots. So I will get C3 e raised to 0x plus C4 
x e raised to 0 x which means that y can be simply written as c1 e raised to 5 x plus c2 e raised to x plus c3 plus c4 x okay and this is your y c and this unknown part is your y p therefore you can get y p is equal to c2 e raised to x plus c3 plus c4 x i will only find one derivative of this particular person why because i need only one derivative in equation one the original differential equation has only y dash it doesn't has y double dash so plus c3 ka derivative is zero and this will become c4 substitute in equation one what is equation one equation one was saying y dash minus 5 y dash this is the original differential equation huh? equal to 3 e raised to x minus 2x plus 1 and replace y by y dash because y, y by yp dash uh, y by yp sorry because yp satisfies this particular integral in a particular differential equation so yp dash minus 5 yp is equal to 3 e raised to x minus 2x plus 1 and what is yp dash i have yp dash with me yp dash is this which is c2 e raised to x plus c4 right and minus 5 times what is yp this is your yp so c2 e raised to x plus c3 plus c4 x is equal to 3 e raised to x minus 2 x plus 1. Now look at the left hand side, right hand side carefully and look up what terms I have to collect together. The thing here on the right hand side itself will give you hints that collect the terms of e raised to x together and compare it with 3. Collect the terms with x together and collect it and compare it with minus 2 and collect all the constants and compare it with what compare it with 1 so collect terms of e raised to x x and constants so who are the terms which are coming with e raised to x let us collect them here sorry who are the terms which are coming with only x and the terms which are constants and on the right hand side i will have 3e e raised to x minus 2x plus 1 e power x term the c2 and minus 5 c2 okay so c2 minus 5 c2 c2 minus 5 c2 will just become minus 4 c2 What are the terms which are having x? The terms which are having x is minus 5c4 and uh, nothing and nothing. And the terms which are constants are c4 is there, then uh, minus 5c3 is also there. Only this much c4 and minus 5 c3 yes that's correct and therefore when i come right compare the coefficients what am i going to get minus 4 c2 is equal to 3 e raised to x comparison gear then minus 5 c4 is equal to when i look at this it will be minus 2 okay and when i look for c4 minus 5 c3 it will be equal to 1. So this means that C2 will become how much? Minus 3 by 4. C4 will become 2 by 5. And I use the value of C3. Now I've got C4 and C3. And who is left? C4, C3. So when I substitute this in C3, I will get C3 is equal to minus 3 by 25 okay so finally what is my 
y p equal to what was my y p equal to it was c2 e raised to 5x correct either sorry c2 e raised to e2 e raised to x let me just go back and see c2 e raised to x plus c3 plus c4x c2 e raised to x plus c3 plus c4x which becomes what minus 3 by 4 e raised to x plus minus 3 by 25 plus c4 is 2 by 5 x so this becomes your yp and therefore your general solution becomes y equal to yc plus 5p is obtained